guys. So I'm speaking really low right now. But yeah. Um, in this tutorial, you're going to need a Comart brush, two or three bobby pins, an accessory, it's optional. Some hairspray, it's also optional if you don't like your hair to be kind of frizzy in the front, then yeah. And one hair tie. So first you're just going to grab your brush or comb and brush slash comb your hair. So if you actually have side bangs, you will be taking the middle section of your hair instead of the side of your bangs. Since I don't have side bangs, I'm just going to grab the section of hair closest to my face. Comb it or brush it. It's your choice how much you... Um, how big you want it to be so I'm not grabbing that much about one inch one and a half inch so I'm gonna grab that section just twist it so it will be easier to bobby pin later now while we're holding that section as you put it down you're gonna push it up giving your hair some volume Still pumped up, so I'm just having a little bump. Grab your bobby pin and pin, pin it down. So that's it. Okay, next you're going to put your hair to the back, or any way that you feel that's easy, but I'm just going to put it in the back so it's easier for you to see. So now you're going to divide your hair into three equal sections, as if you were braiding, but you're actually not braiding. yours is not even like mine right now I have too much on this side and too less on this side and the back is really little all you're gonna do is just take out some hair from the side that has too much and put it in the back you're not going to add any other hair because you don't want too much hair in the front so you might want to hold it like this to see how big it feels like so I still feel like I have too much hair just once again I'm going to grab some hair out and put it in the back so now you can once again grab your brush or comb, comb your hair, making sure it's not it didn't get tangled throughout the first process. Now you're going to grab the first two sections that are in front and not in the back. You're going to gather it to the back, put it together as one. So you might want to move your hair behind your ear and you can comb it through so it's neat. You don't want to be too rough because it might ruin some of your bangs. If, it were, if I were you, where I'm going to tie later on, I don't want my top ponytail to be that high. So I'm just putting it kind of like a little over the top middle of my head. As you can see. So I'm just going to grab a tie. You can use an elastic as well. It's, up. it's your choice. I'm going to tie the back.
Okay, you want to make sure your tie isn't too tight. So the next part will be easier to do. Now, you're just going to make a hole in the middle. You can see that? Okay, and you're just going to grab your hair and put it through. And now you can sort of tighten it, making sure it's pretty. You can leave it as it is and just add an accessory, your choice. So, I'm going to actually do a little more. Um, you don't have to leave it in the back, you can leave it in the front. Just like that, it'd be cute. So, I'm actually going to add an accessory to it. Oh, it would look cuter if you like kind of drag it down a little bit. Giving it a little more looser look. And now I'm just going to add my little accessory. And leave it to the side. It gives off a really cute look for school going out. It's really cute. And you can wear it anywhere. So here's my finished look. The front. So I hope you guys liked it, enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll talk to you guys next time.